Hello everyone, what's going on? I'm Gaff the Mastermind 74 back again today. Welcome to an impromptu source shorts video based off of something that has happened relatively recently. And I'll try to get this video out in a timely fashion to accommodate for this. But essentially, I checked out a recent video by NoClick about why Half Life 2 Overcharged 2.0 is not very good. And as you can see from the timestamp, the context of this is that people like no click and radiation hazard and a couple of others were essentially getting screwed over with an engine error whenever they tried to play the mod and you get this message stop talking shite about us and essentially this is because people like no click and radiation hazard would have been critical of the mod and after checking out a couple of no clicks videos about this i think they're being perfectly reasonable with their criticisms of course you can make the argument oh well if you're going to criticize me then you do a better job sort of thing but that's not what i'm going to get into i've not played half-life 2 overcharged so i'm not giving my opinions about it i've not played it i don't know what it's about all i can really say is after checking out no clicks videos i think they're being perfectly reasonable here so one of the things that ended up happening as i just go to the wrong thing is that there's chatterbait accounts with tokens i mean that's just something i'm going to check out later obviously but no what happened was someone must have used a tool like ghidra to essentially look into the half-life 2 overcharged client or server.dll files and essentially they managed to find this interesting function so for example there's special things that happen when the developers of the mod actually play the game but then what's this they check for anti-citizens and you get no clicks skulser kerwan and rad has dark and gritty and that is their truncated steam id numbers that gets checked for and essentially it gets down here where you see this error message called stop talking shite about us that is what happens in this video that no click did at least. So what I wanted to do with this source shorts video is to essentially talk about how and why something like this can be done. So for example, I went into a source code directory, open up the game's solution file, you can open it in Visual Studio. And for example, I'm doing this in the client version of the player code constructor, which is called before the player even spawns. But what you can do is essentially get the Steam ID for a player index, and the index starts at one. Then you can essentially get the account number based off of what the Steam ID is. And then essentially you can do a comparison of the account number with some predetermined value. So this value that you see down here is the value that is associated with my Steam account. Now the value that's up here with this actual ID value, I don't know if I'm gonna show that, that is the full ID of my Steam account. I don't know if I want that out there or not, but you know, what well, it is what it is. If I show it, I show it. If I don't, then it's probably gonna be in the comments of this video anyway. But as you can see, I say here that you can do something good or bad if there is a match. So for example, I've made it so there's a warning message to say to not play this. So if I try to build the solution here, then it should compile with no issues. The only issues are gonna be with the episodic project. As you can see, if I build again, it's only the episodic client that doesn't work. This is because this project was for a completely different video. But um, if I boot into the mod, then what you'll see is that nothing's going to happen right away because essentially the, um, game hasn't actually loaded the client or the server yet it's only really the engine that's running but if i load into a map then as soon as the uh, game ends up loading up then you check the developer console i'll have to zoom in a bit but you can see that the sort of full steam id when it gets truncated down into a unsigned 32-bit integer exactly matches the account number that is actually from the steam id stuff that i showcased in the video and it left a little warning message saying please don't play this 
So that is something that you can do and that is not very good because you can end up doing something like error instead and that's a valid function and if I go ahead and build the solution and go back into it then what you'll see this time I mean I'm not even going to change to the game capture or anything for this because all I need to do is load into a map and as soon as the map loads and the player is going to be spawning in oops there's an error and you get told to not play it and then you get a crash in the engine which is not very good and that is how you can grief people that you don't like essentially uh, i don't want to use the word trolling because this isn't really a troll as much as it is a grief but you can also do this for something good use the msg function and say something like i don't know i like your videos and then again we can just build the solution and see this in action so I wanted to do this video just to showcase exactly how something like this could be done. All you'd really need to know is the unsigned 32-bit integer value of the person's Steam ID that you want to, you know, essentially leave a message for. But um, yeah, that's all there really is to this. And as you see, I like your videos shows up in the developer console. So if you wanted to leave personalized messages for certain content creators in your mod or to troll them or grief them or do anything really then this is how you can go ahead and do something like that please don't grief people because that's just not fun especially when you can't take fair and legitimate criticism but with that being said and done that's all i have to say about this and let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and have a great day Take care, peace out and all that and uh, see you for the next video.